welcome back everyone to the channel so today we will be discussing the paper of gate 2023 of our subject psychology xh c sank c5 okay so question number 27 to question number 44 carry one mark each so we will look at some of the questions asked in the examination of gate 2023 so if you have not yet subscribed the channel so please subscribe it so we will be discussing everything about gate net and psychology related examination so it will help you out and if not it's fine so this is the first question about your eye blind spot in the retina contains which type of cells only rod cells only cone cells both rod and cone cells and the last option is neither rod and cone so i hope you would have marked the correct answer what it is it is option number d neither rod nor cone cells we have in the, our blind spot okay in the blind spot there is complete darkness and no light nothing is come coming because of the receptor cells no receptor cells no information we call it as a blind spot in the retina okay let's move on to the next question which says taking painkillers eliminates pain increasing the likelihood that the person will take painkillers again this is an example of negative punishment positive reinforcement negative reinforcement or positive punishment so what will be the answer over here look the what the question is saying taking painkillers you are taking painkillers to eliminate pain okay so pain is an aversive stimulus which you don't want to be in your life okay so this stimulus this is you are avoiding using these painkillers so what it will be do you think it will be a punishment do you think it will be a positive reinforcement no do you think it will be a positive punishment no what it is it is a example of negative reinforcement okay so option c will be the right answer negative reinforcement because here you are doing something, you are taking painkillers to avoid pain, which is an aversive stimulus. So keeping that in mind, it should be negative reinforcement. So let's move on to the next question. This is the next question. When learning something new, you are learning, let's suppose you are learning Japanese. Okay. New impairs the ability to retrieve information learned earlier. You have learned uh, earlier what you have learned, let's suppose Korean. Okay. It is known as retroactive interference, proactive interference, tip of the tongue phenomena or recency effect. So what it will be? You have you are learning right now Japanese and you have earlier learned Korean. So now this Korean you are not able to get it out. Okay, so you are having a failure in ability to retrieve information learned earlier. It is known as what will be the answer over here? It will be the retroactive interference. Okay, and just vice versa when it goes. So it will be the proactive interference and it is not about the tip of the tongue phenomena when you are not able to retrieve because you are having something okay you are clearly mentioned over here when learning something new okay and it is not a recency effect yeah question is like it's fine but it's not a recency effect okay so what will be the right answer it will be option number a retroactive interference let's move on to the next question this is the question iconic memory is a type of this year gate 2023 seems little simple quite simple short term memory sensory memory semantic memory working memory what will be the answer over here iconic memory we have two types of memory ic memory and we have ec memory okay echoic memory and iconic memory these are both the types of what our sensory memory no short term no semantic no working it is simply an example of sensory memory okay let's move on to the next question so this is the next question which one of the following components of language has to do with the practical or social aspects of communication with others when you are communicating with others the social context is asking over here it is not phonemes it is not morphemes it is not syntax simply it is pragmatics okay so option number c will be the right answer phonemes is considered along with the sound of the vowel or the letter or word like we say a and a b and b like that and in morphemes we have the words and then the little meaning of that okay morphemes and syntax is how the sentence is made 
okay so ram is eating and eating ram is it's not a syntax so ram is eating is a syntax likewise that goes so pragmatics will be the correct answer over here when it is asking about the social aspects of communication okay let's move on to the next question okay so this is the next question don't think that all the questions were easy like this okay you will get soon get tough question and toughest question as well it's fine the yerkes dots in law states that any single person reading psychology will tell this performance is affected by the level of arousal frustration leads to aggression what self concept help us organize and remember information aha uh -huh. changes in behavior are a result of experiences that have happened frequently or recently Okay, so option number A is the correct answer over here. Came out in Yerkes Dotson Law 1908, where it talks about the pressure and the what we say performance. Okay, relationship between these pressure performance. Performance is affected by the level of arousal, high, low, medium, whatever it may be. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This is the question: transduction. Very simple transduction of mechanical energy into nerve impulses. in the auditory system takes place in response to bending of what does bend over here in the ears all of the questions so far have been from our course so it's fine no promotion over here it's free completely okay and the pinna the hair cells the incus and the malleus what it will be it will be the option number b hair cells so hair cells are, are like this so when this energy comes it bends like this and then the nerve impulses in the auditory system goes away okay let's move on to the next question okay question number 34 which one of the following theories states that the emotion repeated repeated question occurs as a result of physical arousal physical arousal and labeling of the arousal based on cues from the surrounding environment simply statement copied from a very famous book okay same statement labeling of the arousal based on cues from the surrounding environment what it is wrong with the gate okay so emotion occurs as a result of physical arousal and labeling of the arousal first there will be a physiological arousal and then you people will what do it, it you will label it based on the cues from the surrounding environment does it talk about the ekman freisan theory does it talk about schachter singer theory it talks about james lang or kenan bard so these two options are like why why it is given over here okay what will be the right answer right answer will be option number b schachter and singer theory talks about what we call as two factor theory of emotion okay so you have to label whatever your arousal is so they came out with the experiment in 1962 what was the experiment name as the angry happy man the angry happy man they were the subjects were injected with epinephrine epinephrine okay epinephrine they were injected with epinephrine and then they used to label their arousal whether they are happy or angry whatever it is i hope you would have studied the experiment okay so what is the right answer over here right answer is schachter singer theory 1970 sorry 1962 experiment and it is also called as the cognitive arousal theory as well or your two factor theory of emotion okay not motivation keep in mind that two factor theory of emotion cognitive arousal theory cognition is about the labeling and arousal is the physical arousal you are having over here okay so b it will be the right answer okay so this is the 35th question which one of the following is true for the pain gate control theory gate is a physical structure aha uh -huh. activity of gate cannot be closed by non pain signals substance p released into spinal cord does not activate other neurons that send messages through spinal gates d pain signal must pass through a gate located in the spinal cord out of these which one of the following is true so what will be the right answer according to you try to answer this question so we will look for this answer in the next video okay so try to answer comment down below what should be the right answer of this or if you think the previous questions whether i have marked something wrong or what so please mark over there in the comment section below or whatever your doubt may be you can mention as well okay i will try to not waste the time and try to answer as app okay so let's move on to the next question so question number 36 says that being treated with warmth and consideration by others only when only when where the question 
is twisted only when one behaves as expected is called as openness to experience aha uh -huh. conditional positive regard aha uh -huh. unconditional positive regard aha uh -huh. zone of proximal development aha uh -huh. what is vyogotsky doing here come on being treated with warmth and consideration by others only when one behaves as expected when you will behave in such a way then only we will give the conditional and what is positive regard so what will be the right answer over here option number b conditional positive regard will be the right answer okay unconditional will not be the right answer over here because what it is saying only when one behaves as expected okay so when you will behave as expected then only you have to treat with balm and consideration so it should be conditional positive regard carl rogers said about giving unconditional positive regard upr to each and every one no matter what they say what they shout what they do what they try to do you have to give what you have to give unconditional positive regard okay so that's all for this video we will soon see you in the next video part 2 of gate 2023 solutions before the answer key okay so answer key will be coming soon and i will try to finish all these questions before the answer key but let's wait for the answer key as well because you might get some surprises and as it happens every time in the examination okay see you all in the next video thank you and if you have not yet subscribe if you think this video helped you or you like the video or it might help you in future then you can do all these things okay thank you and the things will be provided on this channel will be completely foc it will completely be not unconditional free of cost until and unless someone spikes up like the g protein and tells to have a course okay if someone wants to join the course for their betterment and for their well being they can join no worries no issues but otherwise everything on the channel we will focus on will be the free of cost okay free of cost study of your psychology for gate for net for phd for ma whatever it will be psychology is going to be free from all but if you like there are conditions for if you have to be out of the competition above the competition not out of the competition above the competition sorry for my bad english so you have to be above the competition you you can purchase the course as well it is completely on your own discretion okay and we will try to avoid the promotions as well whatever no promotion okay thank you but ha slightly there is a chance of slightly degree of freedom we also have okay thank you you have waited here so far so okay so if you have waited and you are giving the net examination it's a bonus for you read solomon ash because this experiment has not been asked yet so there are high chances you might see in 2023 feb or 2023 june okay thank you and have a nice day i hit see you soon in the next part next video thank you and have a nice day ahead